Now, who has seen such people who apply for engineering only because they can get good marriage proposal? I personally know such people, okay? Hey Jhandis, what are you doing? Welcome to Jhandi Time. In today's India, there are lots of engineering colleges and lots of engineering graduates every year. Lots of them. But their engineering degree is not of much value. Also, if you go for studying abroad, master's or PhD, they ask you to take extra courses so that you are at a similar level and you have your fundamentals strong enough and similar to what the local students have. So why aren't the fundamentals strong enough for Indian engineers? I feel sad to say, but Indian engineering colleges and lots of them are more of business than education. But I realize that not all engineers are unemployable, even though they get the same kind of instruction, same guidance, same facilities, everything. But somehow they make their engineering degree worth it. They learn from it. But how do they do it? Digging deeper, I found out that the engineering college and the business mindset of the colleges is because of the people's mindset. Because people want to become engineers for all the wrong reasons you can imagine. Let's understand some of them. Number one, life is a race. And if I become engineer, I am winning it. I can show off my engineering degree on the wall. I will be the most important person in all family get-togethers. Even though I hate every minute of my job, it does not matter. It's all about what others think of me, not my happiness. Who cares about it? Anyways. Number two, unreasonable competition. Competition with the imaginary person I have never seen before. Now this imaginary person is the source of all the peer pressure, all the worries in my life. But I have to follow his footsteps to at least become somebody in my life. Yes, Sharma ji ka beta, I have never met him but we talk about him every day at dinner and I only listen because my parents talk that I should become like him and study like him to become somebody like him. I mean seriously? Number 3. Marriage Proposals Now who has seen such people who apply for engineering only because they can get good marriage proposals? I personally know such people, okay? So the only motive in life is to get good dowry if you are a guy or get a well established husband if you are a girl. Now come on, if your ultimate aim in life is to get married, why do you want to study and keep clearing backlogs for like 6-7 years? Doesn't make any sense to me. Now these crazy ideologies need to be discarded from our society. Until that happens, the engineering college business will be sucking out your money and will be preying on your emotional insecurity and instability. Get over it people. Grow out of it. It's the 21st century. Now if you ask the so called engineers what is engineering and what is the role of engineers in our society, they have no clue at all. They don't know that engineers are supposed to find viable solutions to normal, human, common, everyday problems in life. The key word here being viable. I know that the society is changing, the mindset is changing slowly, but the next generation is in our hands, yours and mine. Study what you like, what you are good at, not because your cousin is good at. I mean, come on, your cousin is not going to write your tests or give your interviews or get jobs for you or get money for you. You have to do that. So why not do what you like, what you enjoy? Don't follow people's footsteps. Make your own. Make your own mistakes. You will learn from it and you will be able to make something out of your life. In today's world and today's age, jobs and industries are being disrupted every single day. You never know where you're going to land 10 years from now. So. Do what you love. Enjoy every minute of your life. Like we say, better late than never. Start right now. Don't stop listening to your heart. Listen to your heart. You know some of the best life decisions are when your heart and mind are together in sync. If you have any questions, I'm always here for you, your friend and guide. Like always, comment below your thoughts and I cannot wait to talk to you about this subject. Because I know you guys are also eager to know more and discuss more and so I'm all ears for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Friday and you don't want to miss that out. All the social media links in the description. Check it out and I will see you next week. Same time, same place. Watch me. Love and peace. Ta-da!